Have you ever been reading a book and you encounter a word that you need to find or a concept that you want to explore further or maybe a historical fact and you want more context? Well, that can be a little bit difficult because it means you have to take the book you're reading, put it aside, find other resources in order to provide that context or that understanding. Now, things do get a little bit better if you're using an ebook. A lot of times with an e-reader like this Kobo, you can highlight a word and you can look it up in the dictionary. But if you want context or more information on a concept, well, you can't really do that with an e-reader. So then you could use an iPad. And the nice thing about an iPad, of course, is that if you have an ebook, you can highlight the text that you're interested in gaining more clarification on. You can paste it into something like the Gemini AI or your preferred AI provider, and you can say, please help clarify this. But what if you're back to your book? What if you've got your physical paper book, something I really enjoy reading, and you want to just quickly get some information while you're reading that book? Well, that's where your phone comes in. Now, this video is an update to a previous video that I did earlier. I actually created a video at the end of last year where I demonstrated how to use Microsoft Lens to take an image from a book and then bring that into AI. Well, it turns out that Microsoft Lens has been discontinued, so I can't use that anymore. I still have it on my phone, but the next time I update my phone, it'll disappear. So let me show you how we can do that by using just the camera of your phone and Gemini AI. Could be OpenAI, could be Copilot 365. I'll demonstrate using Gemini. So let's say I'm reading this book, and this is actually a fantastic book on reading in the brain. Talks a lot about what reading is and such. And I'm flipping through the book and it's all making sense to me. And this book has a number of diagrams in it. So let's say I see a diagram here and I'm thinking, okay, this is a great diagram, but I'd like a little bit more of an explanation of what this is. Maybe I'm in grade 12 or grade eight or whatever the grade is. So I can open up Gemini, I can choose the camera, and I can take a picture of what's in this book. And then you can see here that I'll be able to go in and ask Gemini a question. So for example, let's say I want to say, you know, can you explain or clarify this diagram? I can give it some context here. So in this case here, I'm going to look for both clarification of what's in the diagram. And I'm also interested in that clarification being something as uh, if I was in grade 12. So I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to explain it to me as if I was in grade 12. And what's going to happen is now that image will be processed by the Gemini AI and it'll give me a nice explanation of what is happening. I like using this a lot if let's say I'm reading a book and it has some historical event in it. I might want to know what other things were happening in the world during that historical event or maybe it references a certain uh, thing in history that I don't know about, I can get clarification by doing this. So in the past, I did use Microsoft Lens and I would take a picture, I'd do things like OCR to convert the image into text that I could then use for other purposes. Well, AI's now eliminated that need. I can just take a picture directly from the tool I'm using. In my case, I'm demonstrating using Gemini, but I was able to take a picture of a page of text I was able to ask the AI to convert that image into text, and then I could do whatever I'd like with that text, copy and paste it into my note or research system. And I even took an image from a e-reader, so I went to one of the pages that was displayed on the e-reader, took a photo in Gemini, asked it to use OCR in order to convert that to text, and it worked as well. So I guess I understand why they've decided to retire Microsoft Lens, but that's good. I got an opportunity to think about my workflow and find a little efficiency in there that I was unaware of. Here on this YouTube channel, Learning and Technology with Frank, we look at the intentional use of technology to learn, teach, and be more productive. We even have a school group that we use in order to be able to have deeper discussions. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. See you in the next video.